Welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to my channel. Welcome to what the heck is going on. Boy, if we all had a crystal ball, right? <laughs> wow. Okay, we're going to check. Now, a lot of these readings have been scarily accurate from what I'm hearing from a lot of people, so that is wonderful to hear. I do want you to know um, that it is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate, okay? But this is definitely for those of you who are interested in someone, but you're not together right now. This is not for people that are happily coupled or happily married, okay? So keep that in mind. And these energies can go vice versa. What I'm doing is, uh, for those of you that already know, you can forward this bit if you like. I always burn sage for every single reading. I meditate on the cards. It's still smoldering away there for you. So I have the healing stone surrounding your reading. I keep everything as positive possible. Keep the negative energy out. This is why I meditate even before I put the camera on so you don't have to wait too long. I have the small traditional rider weight deck, which I've meditated on your energy and your love interest energy on the larger rider weight deck. Then I have asked spirit on my own deck which is a Shacy Prism Universal Tarot that's available down below for pre-purchase okay pre-order to um, give the energies between the two of you the mutual energies and any forward progress that may be occurring and, and what you need to know okay I will be pulling a couple of other decks in the extended so if this resonates for you if it feels like I'm talking about your life story and this is what's going on with you woo fantastic you'll definitely want to take advantage of the extended i will pull the um i'll pull more shacy prism universal tarot I'll be pull, pulling the crystal tarot i will be also asking the romance angels my guides to help you on your journey and give you any sort of um messages that you need to hear okay i will probably pull a couple of cereal marchettis as well these are awesome so i have a lot of decks but i meditate on all of them before i even start your reading okay so let's go ahead and get started okay now for those of you brand new welcome to my channel i appreciate you being here and for those who have continually supported my my girls and i thank you so much it really does mean the world to us to watch the channel grow so if you get a chance just take a second and hit that thumbs up and subscribe that would be absolutely amazing thank you for doing that and thanks to all of you for the private readings <sighs> Some of your stories are just, wow, they're remarkable. I could tell you some too, but I won't. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for being here. Thank you. Okay, let's get started. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What the heck is going on? What does Leo need to know? There's two. You have the seven of pentacles. So you're waiting. You're waiting. You've put some attention to something, you put some love into something, and you're waiting to see the growth and the progress. Okay? Page of Swords. You're looking for clarity and truth. You may be looking in on somebody. Somebody could be looking in on you. I feel this is your energy. You're waiting and you're you're kind of checking things out to see what's going on. Okay? For Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'll pull one more card, and then we're going to pull a card. And I'm also going to do pick a card. I forgot to mention that. I have the Goddess Guidance cards, which I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull a card for you and a card for your love interest. Actually, you're going to pick the cards. I'm going to pull three cards, and you're going to pick the cards. Should you just give me one sec? Maybe I'll do the other deck instead. Now we'll do the Goddess Guidance. Okay. You guys let me know in the comment section which cards you guys like the best, okay? I have the Angel Guidance cards by Doreen Virtue or the Goddess Guidance by Doreen Virtue. I'm going to use the Goddess Guidance, but if you guys prefer the other deck, let me know down in the comment section. And next time I'll do the pick a card on those, okay? All right, let's keep going. So I will do that at the concluding of this reading after I pull some Shacy Tarot. All right. What else do you have for Leo, please, spirits? Why is that page of swords here for Leo? What's going on? What does Leo need to know? Oh, there's one that flipped right here. Ah, okay. So there's some juggling going on. You're trying to make a choice. Should I do this or should I do that? Should I do this or should I do that? 
because you're waiting and you're wanting to know the truth. You're wanting to know what's going on. I feel that you have no idea what's going on. You're in, you may like be oblivious. Somebody's not giving you any information or you're not talking right now. And you feel like you've put a lot of effort into something. So you're like, when is this going to come to fruition? And you're trying to make a choice and decision. So you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I feel like you're looking in on your person or trying to find some information out perhaps. And, um, you know, we're going to see where we're going from there. Okay, let's pull three from your, for your love interest. For Leo's love interest, please. What is going on? What the heck is going on with Leo's love interest? What does Leo need to know? How does how do they feel about Leo? What's the progress made? What does Leo need to know, please, spirits? So even though I'm doing this over the weekend, okay, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it doesn't matter. These energies can happen anytime, weeks from now, months from now, even up to a year. I've had things happen in tarot. So keep that in mind, okay? For Leo's love interest, please. What the heck is going on? Leo needs to know. Leo needs to know. What can you tell Leo? What would help Leo, please, spirits? Can you tell Leo? Okay. You know, these cards today have been coming out in like threes and fours sometimes. And if that happens more than once, then I feel it's necessary to go ahead and pull them. Normally I won't, but today that just seems to be what's happening. So that's what's happened. Success. Okay, so your love interest is having success at something, victory at something. Okay, they're being recognized for something. Now, this can be just recognized for something in business or at work. It can be uh, whatever it is that they're being successful at. It, it's uh, working out for them. Ah, well, they have a new beginning. Okay, maybe you're waiting to find out what's going on. And whatever it is, from what I'm seeing... They have a brand new practical beginning. So they may have been successful being promoted to a new job, a new division, a brand new business they've started. Uh, maybe they've transferred and they're having a new beginning. Whatever the case is, the universe is handing them a brand new opportunity and it's going to be successful if it isn't already. It, it's coming. And remember, this can be vice versa and it can crisscross over in the energies. They also have five wands. So it wasn't without perhaps some competition or some challenges along the way. They've had to go through some challenges along the way. And this doesn't have to necessarily be a new beginning in business. It can be... Um, just an offer of something practical to them. It could be coming from you. But we're going to keep going to find out. Let's dig. Okay, I'm going to clarify that Seven of Pentacles. Why is Seven of Pentacles here, please, for Leo? Yes, again, you have been waiting and waiting and waiting for something to come to fruition and you're wanting clarity. But this is the Ace of Swords. This usually means that clarity is going to come into you. Okay, it's a new beginning. Sometimes it can represent a new idea. So maybe you come up with a new idea on how to make this grow uh, faster or better, uh, more productively. That can be a business. Maybe you're even waiting for a business to grow. That could be. But I feel like you've almost been putting effort into a relationship. Okay. And that you've been trying, you've been tossing back and forth whether or not you should perhaps even continue putting the effort in because I still feel like you're seeking the clarity. Okay? Leave me comments. I want to hear from you. Don't be shy. Okay? Let me know. Let me know what you're thinking. What's going on? Clar we're going to clarify the page of swords. Of course. Clarify the page of swords, please, for Leo. A shout out to NT. How's it going out there? I hope it's going good. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. You're feeling stuck. And again, that totally makes sense because this is being stuck on trying to make a choice or decision on what to do. But you're feeling stuck like you can't do anything. This is a passionate new beginning though. Okay, so you have, I feel, clarity coming. Regardless, this is about a new beginning. This can be... Um, a new job it can be a new love it can be new passion to create new things you have two aces so this stuck energy is not going to last for long either you make a decision that brings in this beautiful new clarity and this new beginning because you decide 
to move forward and get out of your stuck energy. Or it could be that your person has been through somewhat of a struggle, some opposing opinions, some challenges along the way, but they're being successful and they come and they have a brand new practical beginning and they're moving forward to you with victory. But we've got to dig deeper. So let's go ahead and pull a couple of cards. Then we will go to the extended. I'm going to do that. Pick a card in a minute. Okay, let's clarify that Six of Wands. That's the victory card. Wow. You are mirroring each other. You're both feeling a little bit stuck. Okay, so they may have been through some challenges, some competition, and being victorious, but it may not have happened yet. Okay. You may be both feeling stuck still. Maybe you're at a distance from one another and there's still some more challenges to go through. Let's find out. We'll clarify the Eight of Swords and the Extended because I do want to clarify. Okay, that's way too many cards. That's way too many. I do want to clarify that Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles, please. For Leo's love interest. Why? Oh, well, see, like I said, coming out in threes. Oh, okay. So someone is holding on to a brand new opportunity, something to do with a job. Maybe they got offered a job or again, a promotion or something practical and they're trying to hold on to it or they're hanging on to what they feel is a practical, solid new beginning and they don't want to let it go because it's, it's, it's going to bring in prosperity or money, something solid that could be. And that may be why they're stuck. Maybe they just got promoted at a job or a business or opened up a new business or were offered something new. And that's left them stuck because they're um, sort of stuck in the same place. They can't sort of feel like they can't move. They don't want to give up the opportunity. And that might be some of the challenges. Hmm. Let's find out. But we've got the Knight of Swords here. This is the fastest moving knight in the deck. So they're, they're wanting to move really, really quickly. That's Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. We also have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here. And you, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Could be dealing with the King of Pentacles. Okay, this could be someone in your life that, again, is thinking about long-term stability. They may be coming towards you with a practical, solid, grounded offer that brings in this clarity for you and allows you to finally make a decision and get out of the stuck energy because you've got a new passionate beginning here. This is about creating something new. Could be love, it could be a business, it could be anything. Because this king is a grounded, practical king who believes in stability, who believes in tradition of marriage, who believes in having a home, traditional values, meaning, and life. Okay? And this is about someone rushing in, quite possibly towards you, to make a solid offer. And they're holding on to that. That could be. But... You know, they, they've had to overcome a lot of challenges or they're still going through these challenges and they're feeling stuck like you are, but they're going to be successful at overcoming these challenges. This may not have happened yet. Interesting. Okay, we're going to do the pick a card now. No, nope, we're not. Sorry, I've got to do the Shacy Prism and then we're going to do the pick a card. For Leo and their love interest, please. What is the outcome or the progress, please? What is the mutual energies? Ooh, did you see that fly out? New love. So this is a new love. You have a chance at new love that's trying to come in, but you're both in this stuck energy at the moment. And I'm telling you, I feel like it's because there's still some challenges to get through here. Okay, you may be at a distance from one another, and there's some ch that may be one of the challenges. But we're going to dig a lot deeper and extend it. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clarify the Eight of Swords on both sides. I'm going to try and clarify and see what these challenges are. 
We're going to clarify the King of Swords. Sorry, the Knight of Swords. King of Pentacles. We're going to clear everything. <laughs> okay, what is the mutual energies, please, between Leo and their love interest? What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know, please? New love. This is looking very positive. So you've been waiting. You've been waiting for clarity. You've been trying to make a choice and... romantic love offer they're trying to come forward to you with a practical solid but yet romantic love offer this is a new love or new love to you one more please spirits one more one more please for leo what does leo need to know manifestation desire visions into reality so you are manifesting or your love interest is or both of you are or spirit is saying, you know, keep manifesting, keep putting your intentions out to us in the universe. We're listening. That is so awesome. Okay, let's do the pick a card. All right. I do have to meditate on the cards for a minute because I have not. <sighs> Leo, please, spirits. What does Leo need to know regarding love? What is any advice that you have, please? What does Leo need to know? So I'm going to do one, two, three. So you go ahead and keep in mind which... Oh, there's one. Okay. What does Leo need to know? What's the advice, please? What's the advice, please? Advice for Leo. One more. Two more, please. Two more, please, spirit. What advice? Oh, okay. There we go. Ask and you shall receive. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I truly appreciate it. Okay, are we ready? Here's card one. Can you see them? Card one, card two, and card three. Do you pick one? Ready? You don't have to wear my glasses because these are a little bit difficult to read. All right, are we ready? Card number one. Mawu, Mother Earth. So if you picked this card, Spirit is saying that it is you are called upon to help with environmentalism. Maybe you're good with animals, the environment, okay? Things like, you know, when you see things go across Facebook, it, I always kind of wish that I could help with that. And of course, I can't. My hands are tied. I got two, two small girls, but I think about it all the time. You know, when, when you see seals getting caught in netting and you see the balloons and this one lady used to help birds because they used to have fishing line tied around their poor little um, feet and it just, it was just heartbreaking. It was just heartbreaking. You know, every time I see pop can, you know, the, the um, can holders, right? The plastic that holds in the cans. If ever I see that and I've got scissors on me, I cut them so that they can't get stuck in them. You know, I, I'm at the beach. I've even been teaching my girls to pick up some of that stuff on the beach and put it in the trash so you don't have to worry about animals getting hurt. Anyways, that aside, they're saying, <laughs> sorry, I went off. Woo. They're saying you'll be very good at helping with environmentalism. So that's that's what comes to mind when I think about that. That is um, That would be awesome. If you picked card number two, and that's for the love of animals, not just people, right? Ixchel, medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing power. Wow. So if you pick this card, Spirit's saying you, you're good with divine power, helping with healing. You know, maybe um, you're going to go into medicine, become a doctor or a nurse. If you picked card number three. Aphrodite, inner goddess, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Beautiful. Okay, so if this resonated for you, I'm going to clarify the Eight of Swords. It's very interesting. You're both you're both mirroring each other there. Absolutely, this is a, looks like a new beautiful love trying to come in. Let's find out where this Knight of Swords is going, who the King of Pentacles is, and what are they holding on to? Is this money, a job? Is this, um, is it the relationship that they're holding on to? 
let's dig a little deeper shall we if this resonated for you i'll see you at vimeo the link will be down below in the description box it will also be available in the comment section and please leave me comments i love reading them and i'm going to try to catch up on answering a lot of them this weekend so thanks leo i'll see you at vimeo bye for now mm -hmm.